So the challenge is for us at, at MEI is is to how do we create an environment where where teachers can do that? How do we create the re resources? And how do, how do we try and influence the assessment in such a way that we can in, encourage that type of activity to occur in the classroom? So you know, MEI is a, a really a, a, a the curriculum development tool innovation for maths, I think. And it's something that's really at the front of our minds about how to integrate technology as effectively as we can into teaching and learning mathematics. Another area that Tom didn't touch on actually is just thinking about we now live in a really world full of data. Um, if you look at um, many questions on um, mass exam papers, then they, you know, there are very small, very small numbers of data points, very sort of trivial calculations. Really, you know, what you what you want to be able to do in analysing data is to infer things from what's been calculated about really large data sets. Um, it's not practical to do that without technology, but technology brings all that to, 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 to you know, it makes it accessible in, in the classroom, which is brilliant. Um, so, you know, another area which is really important for, for maths teaching, in fact, for teaching of other subjects as well, is being able to analyse large amounts of data effectively and make proper inferences from them. One of the things that we've done, I think, in the past a lot with statistics is we've, we've concentrated a lot on teaching students how to do calculations um, and then say something probably not very significant about what comes out. But um, you know the real skill of analysing data is to is to be able to look at statistical measures and understand what that means about the underlying behaviour of things. And you know technology makes that possible in a way that, that you know, even even ten years ago was much much more difficult. And and I would probably go further than that as well in terms of thinking about how the importance of technology in terms of mathematical processing. And it's not just statistics. It's it's hard to think of a of a job. It's hard to think of a career. In the modern world, where the mathematical processing isn't outsourced to technology, funnily enough, probably the only one people come up with is maths teacher. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um, other than that, almost, almost any job, almost any line of work, almost any future study that students are going to engage in, if there's math, maths involved in it, the processing will be outsourced to technology. And I think it's key then that we encourage in students good habits. We show them how to work with technology when they're when they're doing maths when they're performing calculations. Yeah. I mean, the flip side of that is that, is that in learning how to perform calculations and do difficult algebra, you know, I believe, I think there's evidence to support this, you're, you're actually developing, developing your ability to think effectively. So I don't think we should, we should just uh, sort of you know, take away the, um, the calculation by hand of things I mean, in some circumstances. We shouldn't, we shouldn't sort of take away having to manipulate algebra and those things. We should just acknowledge that when we're doing that, we're, it's almost like we're we're sort of you know, exercising the brains of students and developing their, their facility with mathematics, but when they're using mathematics out there in the, in the world, perhaps doing, doing highly technical jobs, that aspect of, I suppose, the processing of calculations is something that will be done by computers, but what they've got to be able to do is to, is to drive the computer to do those things, to be able to, to mathematise problems, you know, actually sort of set up the calculations that the computer can do much more easily than they can, and then be able to interpret what comes back. So I think that you know, at, at, certainly at school level, we need to be we need to be teaching students how to do calculation and how to how to manipulate algebra and all of those things. But we need to be doing that in an environment where they're also using technology and seeing the power of, of, of you know, what mathematics can do. And I think it, it can be presented as a false dichotomy: should you, should you use technology for maths or should you not use technology for maths? And I don't think it needs to be intention. I think it's perfectly sensible to have some part of students' mathematical education where they're learning to do maths without technology, but equally important to have some part where they do have access to technology. And that feeds through to the work in the classroom and the assessment. It's, it's, there should be some technology enhanced maths and there should be some where they're doing it without it. Yeah, and no, I think really it's, um, I think about technology in the maths classroom as, as enhancing the teaching of maths um, you know, making it so that um, so that you know what, what students are learning is more useful in the, in the long term to them, perhaps, but also um, helping them to understand more deeply you know the, the mathematical concepts that we're trying to get across. Um, one of the things I, I frequently say is that um, students. I talked earlier about the relationship between between algebra and graphs, and that um, I think very able students or students that, that are really into maths can often can often sort of pick up that relationship almost in a, in a, in a mental way. You know, they can construct their own visual images, if you like. Um, if you're quite gifted at that, that's great. But if you're not so gifted at that, that can be a real barrier. But, but technology, graphing technology, can really help people to develop those skills. 
I think it's not something that was available in the past. It's a, it can really enhance students' understanding. I mean, I, I, I mean, I like to think of it in a way that that there are there are environments in which we actually do maths, and one obvious one is in our head when we do mental arithmetic. That's an environment to do maths, and and the one that most people think of is, is the piece of paper. If you do do maths on a piece of paper, I would say there is a third one. There is doing maths within some sort of digital package, some sort of mathematical software is just another environment to do maths and it requires its own skills but it also can incredibly enhance your understanding of, of the maths by working in that and so it, to me it just it, it's just a, a third environment from you, you can do maths in your head, you can do it on a piece of paper or you can do it on technology. Yeah, and I think that you know, using technology effectively in a maths classroom will raise understanding and raise achievement of young people in mathematics and that, that's what we all want to do. So it's not a, it's not a distraction. It's not a, a gimmick, it's something that really is helping teaching and learning to become more effective.